Hello? Yeah, I just got home. Mm, I saw mom briefly. She was looking very tired. She didn't say much. Yeah, I'll be spending a few days. <laughs> I can't believe how long it took me to come home. Dad, <laughs> I have to settle in and freshen up first of all. You know dad and his questions. I'm just in my room. Mom kept it perfectly neat for me. <laughs> you know what? Let me just freshen up and go check on mom in the kitchen. All right, I'll call you later. All right, bye. Hey girl, look at you with all of the dreams and goals in your eyes, but then I don't think you're doing badly. It's tougher than we thought, but we'll be okay. Dad. Good evening, sir. Nadia. Yes, sir. When did you return? Today. How are you? I'm very well, sir. Is everything okay? Yes. It's been a while I thought to come check on you and mom. After this long while, it's been tough settling into the new job that I got. That was like three years ago. Oh, that one. I no longer work there. I work with a new company. I'm just six months old there. Good for you. Good to see you, Dad. A little tired, that's all. Oh, okay. I missed you. <laughs> I miss you too. Even though you call a lot, it's never enough. I know. I'm so sorry I stayed away for this long. I understand. You and your brothers need to pursue your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> How are they? They're very well. Busy, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen your father? Yes, and I'm done with the interrogation. You don't have to put it that way. Ah, Mom, I know you would defend him. I was not expecting anything else. <laughs> Mom, what are you cooking? Ah, the goosey soup. Ooh. It's almost done.
really tired. I'll rest after I've served your father. Hmm? Okay, mom, you know what? I will, I will serve him. Go and rest. No. Mom, you've been serving dad for years. Not serving him now will not kill you. Look, you're the one who just got back. Hmm? You should go to your room, freshen up and come in a few minutes to get your food. Mom, I insist. I know exactly how to arrange history. Go and rest before you fall. Hmm? See, darling, let, let me just serve your father this time. Hmm? He's particular about some things. I know, and I've been your daughter for a while. Mom, you need to rest. Don't worry. Hmm? I'll handle it. You know, your father likes a lot of meat in his Minimum food. of four. I know that. Use his plate. And his cup. And his tray. Mom, can you just go? You need to serve it now. It needs to be very hot. Mommy, go. Don't worry. Hmm? I'll take care of it. Don't worry. So you don't fall, okay? I'll handle it. Your food is served. Where is your mother? She's resting. She's very tired. Too tired to serve me. Daddy, I just served your food. Did I ask you to serve me? I served it exactly how mom serves it. That is not the question. Go and call your mother for me. Daddy, she's tired. Go and call your mother. Go and call your mother! Now! What is the problem? What kind of stupid question is that? Sweetheart. Yes, ma'am. Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. I don't want you to be angry with your father. Mommy, when are you going to stop defending him? I am not defending him. It's just your father doesn't know how to express love. I've said this many times. Or that he's incapable of love. Don't say that about your father. Mom, 
Do you know the reason none of us come home is because of dad? Which is one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. Your father is not impressed that none of you come home, in spite of all he did to send you to school. What exactly does he want? He was the same person that sent us out after graduation, without even letting us get a job. The few times you came around, you saw how he treated us. Mommy, look at what happened this evening. Your father believes in you so much. Hmm? He did not want to condone any kind of laziness. Mommy, you know what you're saying is unfair. We all graduated with good grades. We even had side jobs to help ourselves. Not like the money he was sending to us then was, was enough. Mommy, we were good kids. You know this and he knows it as well. He's doing the best he can. Hmm? I don't want you to feel bad about what he has done. Especially this evening. How about you, Mom? What about me? Has he learned to be the kind of husband he should be to you? Don't judge him too harshly. Because of what you saw this evening. Oh, Mom, I lived in this house. Despite the fact he sent us all to boarding school since just as one. He wanted you all to focus and read. Hmm? Look at how well you all turned out. Tommy, stop. You're not talking to a child. Dad is incapable of love. And I have made peace with that. My concern is you. I came back hoping that maybe, maybe he's a little kinder to you. But it, it's even worse. I am not complaining. Hmm? Don't say that about your father. Mom! I'm asking you a simple question. A rhetoric question at best. There's nothing rhetoric about it. I'm asking you if it's going to be okay with you if I should start double dating. You're asking me if it is okay for us to start an open relationship. Why would you ask me that in the first place? Why would you even talk to me as if I'm depending on you for my dear life and you can't even cope with that? I didn't say that. That was what you meant by telling me that my happiness is not in your hands. You're taking it the wrong way. <laughs> How am I taking it the wrong way? I told you that I'm not comfortable with the way you make it look as if our relationship is going to end soon and you're trying to warn me ahead of time. You got all that from what I said? Yes! I got that from what you said. Not just today at all. But from your actions, the way you talk to me. I think that... The more we get closer, the more you're just trying to indirectly warm me off. We're going nowhere with this argument. As usual, you just want to end this discussion so I will act like nothing happened while our issues keep piling up. Oh my goodness, please, can you just stop being so dramatic? I simply said it is not fair for you to keep saying you're not happy. But am I happy? Should I lie about it? No, don't lie about it, but please. Find your own happiness. Don't place that burden on me. What are you doing? Take care of yourself, Michael. Gloria. Hey, babe. Hey, Nadia. Baby! What's wrong? Ask your brother. But I'm asking you. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. What did he do? Your brother does not recognize love, and for some reasons, he doesn't even want to show it either. Listen, I know you love him. Okay, just give him a little time. The way you love him would teach him. He doesn't even think he has an issue, so how would he learn? Come on, don't give up on you guys. What you both have is beautiful. He <laughs> already told me that my happiness is not in his hands. What? I'm t yes! <laughs> I didn't even ask him to even give me back my happiness that he's holding for him to tell me such thing. I'm not even depending on anyone for my happiness. <sighs> but... Shouldn't the primary goal in a relationship be add to your partner's happiness? Of course. 
Thank you. Well, my partner has no intentions of adding to my own happiness, even when I can move mountains for him. Babes, I just have to go. Uh, Gloria, you... Michael. Come in. Hey, big brother. Hey, sis. <laughs> Why are you back so soon? Is mom okay? Yeah, she's she's fine. I I needed to come discuss something. Okay. Dad? He's okay. I saw Gloria. Yeah. What's going on? She just got upset over something simple that I said. That her happiness is not in your hands. Well, it isn't. <sighs> you know, we've had this conversation before. Why does it seem like you're not fully committed to her? I am. But you seem to want to reserve a lot of you to yourself. I just don't want her to get hurt. Hurt? By who? Or what? I don't know. You know, you sound like you have someone else. Oh, come on, sis. You know me better than that. Then what's the problem? Why are you holding back? I don't want to talk about it. Fine. Just so you know, she would not wait for you forever. I don't want to talk about it. So, why did you come back? I thought you said you were going to spend a few days with mom. I'll leave soon. So why did you return? Because I wanted to talk to you and Josh. About what? Listen, mom is suffering. She's like a slave to dad. You don't even have to be with them for 24 hours to notice it. That should be Josh. Just come out so we'll talk in the living room. Hey, bro. <laughs> What's it happen? <sighs> Are you not supposed to sleep here with mom? Why are you back so soon? I have to come now. What happened? Is mom okay? Yeah, relax. <laughs> She's fine. Hmm? So how is your dad? So he's not your dad as well. Hmm. <laughs> hey, big bro. How far? Your face like this. He fought with Gloria. Again? What do you mean again? Guy. Why are you always pissing that lady off? We go get her beat you one day. She I beg. Guy, I beg rest. <sighs> Nadia. We're all here now. What's going on? We need to get mom out of that house. We all know that's an impossible task. I caught mom shaking. What do you mean by that? She's suffering from anxiety. I even witnessed dad go off on her. Why the hell is he still doing that? I don't know. Josh, calm down. Look, what's this? Seriously, after all these years, Guy, we all left the house because mom defending us was kind of making dad go against her. Now we are not there. No one's there. So what's the excuse now? Please sit down. Okay? Take it easy. Just sit. We all know that mom will not agree to leave dad. Well, that's because dad has been watched time to believe in that pleasing him is all she's all about. We just have to do something to get her out of there. Out of dad house. does nothing for himself. He won't allow that. <sighs> Nadia, if we found a way to get mom out of the house, would you be willing to spend some time with dad? 
Why does she need to do that? Why? That is not a handicap. He can do things for himself. Or worst case, we get a, a maid for him. Dad will never agree to that. You know, he's very particular about some things. Who cares? Who cares? Mom was not created to serve him for the rest of her life. She's been doing that for how long now? What? Over 30 years? Well, I guess the real question now is what can get mom out of that house? Josh can. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, Mom. Are you still here? Yes, I am. Do you have any issues at work? I have a week leave. I thought to come stay with you and Mom. I need to go change. Find out what she's doing here. Find out no assumptions. Cleaning up there. I was soon finish. <sighs> I I came to get water, but why are you cleaning this night? It's just it makes my chores easier in the morning. <sighs> Mommy, go to your room. No, I'll soon finish there. Don't worry. Mommy, I'll take care of it. Don't worry. Go to your room. I can't go to the room till I finish cleaning. Hmm? Mommy, is Daddy making you clean? Can you see Answer the question. Nadia, please. Mom, don't make me go inside your room and ask him because he doesn't scare me anymore. What makes you think that... Mommy, it's fine. Just go, I'll finish it. Look how tired you are. If you don't go, I'll carry you. <laughs> Can you? Should I... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, go. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes, mommy, go.
Are you already finished? Nadia wouldn't let me. Meaning what? She wants to do it herself. Wants to or doing it? She's doing it. What exactly is Nadia doing here? She came to see us. Why are you asking us if she's a stranger? But when last was she home? She hasn't been coming home because you never let them stay. They are angry. Angry? Angry at who? Who are they angry at? Were they angry when I was paying their school fees? When I was feeding them in my house? <sighs> You are their father. Please don't be angry. If it's visit she has come to visit, let her be quick with it. And let her go back to where she's coming from. In fact, go and ask her when she is leaving. Honey, I can't ask her that. This is her father's house. Yes, tell her her father wants to know when she is leaving his house. I don't now! Mom, are you not supposed to be resting? I'll rest after we talk. Sweetheart, why are you here? Is there a problem? Problem? I came to see my parents during a work week. I took a week off. Why? Why take a week off? You call us a lot already. Mom, do you realize the question you're asking isn't normal? I mean, parents would give anything to have their grown kids come home. I am happy to see you. Then why are you asking all these questions? It's because... Because dad wants to know. Yes. I came to see both of you. Especially you. Tell him that. When are you going? Asking me to leave tonight. I don't ever want you to leave. It's just your father never wants anyone to be around so he can treat you the way he likes. It's not like that. It's like that, Mom. Tell him.
Why do you want me to leave? What nonsense are you talking about? Answer the simple question. Why do you want me to leave? Is it me you're talking to like this? Yes, Daddy. You. Nadia, are you out of your mind? Daddy, I am no longer scared of you. I am no longer having sleepless nights because of your voice. I am no longer scared of coming here because of you. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Your mother has ganged up against me. When has mom ever been your enemy? When has she ever spoken evil against you? Even when you clearly disdain everything about her. Young lady, watch your mouth or else you regret it. I prom- I'll be spending a few days. Sending mom to me will not make me leave. It's my house and I choose who stays. This is my family. And I am not going anywhere. It's my house, my house. I choose who goes and who stays. of her father's house. You are the reason Nadia had the impetus to talk to me anyhow. Why, Drosley? Why? Nadia can never be disrespectful to you. I want her out now. Now. Please, my husband. Please. I've not seen her for so long. I've missed her so much. Please, please forgive whatever she did. Never. I want her out. Now, Rosalie, now! Please, if you say that, she'll never come back here again. Please. I want her out. You don't, you're not listening to me. Go and tell her, I need her out. Back out. That's what I want. I can't do it. What did you say? Rosalie, what did you say? Are you mad? Eh? I'm talking to you! And you're still like this! Walking on the side! And you're suffering! I can't do it! I can't do it! I can't She must leave you! She must leave you! What nonsense is that? In my own house? Are you okay? Who the hell is everybody? What's happening in this house? How do you know? Don't take me! What is wrong? Are we okay? And you don't tell me that! Your daughter does insult me. What nonsense? Nadia, I'm okay. Mommy, take my call. Shut up! Myself. It is my house. Come back in the door. Nadia, I'm okay. Nonsense. I'm okay. Please, what nonsense? I said you gonna break this door. Look just here, your daughter. Please, let me, let me go and talk just to her. Just here, your daughter. Please, let me go and talk to her. Just here, your daughter. Please, let me go and talk to her. Just here, your daughter. Please, let me go and talk to her. Nadia, please. You want to get me? Nadia, Nadia, Nadia. Nadia. Why? No, no. You don't want to get me. 
hurting me. He didn't hit me. He didn't hit me. Please, please. Nonsense. Nadia, Nadia, I'm a... Just look at the things you bring upon me. I do everything for these children. What do you do? What? Let me see this happen again. You should not live in this house. You know what is going to happen to you. See what you have caused. Nonsense. No, Michael, we need to do something and we need to act really fast. We shouldn't have even left her all alone. Nadia, he, he practically chased us out of the house. I know, but we stayed angry for too long. We should have been coming often. See, Michael, mom is really suffering. Okay, well, you're there now. Okay, we'll do something. Have you told Josh about the situation? No, I would call him later. And take care of yourself. If anything else happens, you call me immediately, okay? All right. Bye. What is wrong with him? I guess we're about to find out. What is all this? I thought it stopped. I thought so too. We need to take care of this now. Whatever it takes. My sentiments exactly. <clears throat> I swear he's begging for an early grave. Okay, no. Josh, please, let's not go there, okay? We're not taking it that far. Please. No, but seriously now, because what's the meaning of all this? After all these years? Look, we just need to find a way to, to settle this whole thing amicably. Amicably? Michael, amicably? Yeah. What kind of amicably is that? Does that man, your dad, does he look like someone that recognizes peace and harmony? But mom does. We're not dealing with mom here. You know that whatever we do to dad affects mom. You know this. But I don't, I, 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 I don't understand. Why can't she just walk away from him, though? We just have to make her this time. How? I don't know. Figure something out. Okay, but first things first. It's time to go home. Sweetheart. You didn't come out for lunch or dinner. I'm not interested in looking at your husband's face. Your father. Is he? Enough. Baby, look. He didn't touch me. Yet you screamed. I was just a little frightened. Of what? No touch? Mommy, do you want to die? Don't say that. Don't say what? What do you think it takes to die of anxiety, a heartbreak, or even a broken bone? None of that will happen to me. You've been taking this for years. You're one of the lucky few to still be alive. Look, your father and I have our issues, but it will never amount to death. Mommy, it can. Nadia, stop. I came here to beg you to forgive your father and keep this to yourself. Don't tell your brothers. Like you've been keeping it for years and when we come home you just put on a happy face. You don't know what you're saying. I already told them. Why would you do that? Josh is mad and will be coming home any moment from now. Don't tell me you don't want to see your sons. Of course I want to see them. Then don't tell your husband. Because it's meant to be a surprise.
Dad, we came to see you and mom. We are okay. And Nadia is already here. Nadia is here for herself and we are here for ourselves. It's good to see you, Dad. It's wonderful, Mom. you too. So much. Uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> My darling. Mm. It's so good to see you, Mom. It's good to see all of you. Mm. I see Nadia dragged you down here. Yeah, Mom, you should have called us. There was no reason to call. Where's Nadia? Oh, uh, she just got in from the market. Uh, she's in her room. I clean your rooms too. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Uh, thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> we need to see Nadia. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'll see you, okay? that mom is never going to admit that she's in danger here. So whatever we need to do, we have to do it fast because we can't be here for too long. Don't tell me you're still afraid of him. Come on, Josh. Why would I be scared of my own father? I have a company to run, remember? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. It's <Mr>. empty. <laughs> what about you? Don't you have work? Well, I can call in sick for eternity as long as I need to be here to protect her. But you don't even have to do that. We don't even have to be in this house to protect her. I mean, if he slaps her in his room, how would we know? Well, that's because mom won't speak out. Exactly. Besides, th this whole house brings back memories of intimidation for her. <sighs> then we need to get her out of this place. We need to take her away from that man. I agree. Okay, so... How do we do that? Let's come up with a plan. Cool. Anything?
Baby, mm. put the plates right in front of the chair. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look <laughs> at this. My goodness. Mom, I really missed this. <laughs> oh. What? You're such a great cook, Mom. Mm. You haven't even eaten it yet. I don't have to. The aroma. Mm. Uh, I don't need to taste the food. Mm. The aroma uh, is life transforming. Oshé, transformation detector. <laughs> <laughs> no, real transformation Save that. No. Uh, I'm the wife here. I should serve my husband. Go ahead and serve your brothers. Hmm? <laughs> wow, well, mom. All these you said, Africans, you guys like you guys take things too deep. This is like 21st century. People serve themselves now. Well, this is Africa, and we follow culture here. Hmm? Well, we will follow culture and tradition. Sis, please serve me. <laughs> well, me, I'm going to serve myself. I'm okay. 21st century dude. So, how long are you here for? Well, I was thinking six months. Six months? In this house? Yes, or maybe 10, 10 months. Josh, that's enough. Dad, he's just joking. We only plan to spend a couple of days. Bro, no, I wasn't joking. Yeah, I came here with a few days in mind, right? But now that I'm here, I don't feel like leaving. But why are you looking at mom? She's not the one making me stay. She's not, she's not, she's not the one telling me to stay. I want to stay because I want to. You will not stay in this house. You must go back to work. I do not condone laziness. <laughs> oh, come on, dad. We all know this has nothing to do with laziness. Josh, please eat your food. Please. Oh, but I am mom. And I'm also enjoying talking to my dad. And you know, it's crazy that he's trying to kick us out. Michael, how many days is a few days? Oh, come on, dad. You're not Michael, are you? Josh, can you just let me answer? No, bro. Seriously, isn't it insane that dad wants us to leave? Isn't it madness? Did you just say that? Did you just say that I'm mad? Dad, I, I did. Did you call me mad? Dad, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say that. But you know, sometimes I, I actually wonder. It's okay. You must be stupid. Let's go. Let's talk outside. Let's no, go. no, bro, please. Yes. Wait. I'm, I'm enjoying talking to. I'm talking to my father, and he needs to know that I'm not scared of him. You had better be. <laughs> you had better. What's what nonsense is this? What rubbish? I am your father! You do not talk to me that way! Woman, what is this? What are you saying? What is this? Did you bring me down? All of this woman and insult me in my own house! Who are you? Are you? You cannot talk to me that way! Oh, shut up! Will you stop that crocodile tears? Huh? Shut up! You want them to see you? It's enough. It's enough. Stop this. Ah. Bro, look, just stop it. Stop, stop it. Ah, stop it. Bro, I don't like this thing you're doing. Oh. I don't like it. Allow me go and confront this man face to face. What? Do you want to beat him up? Yes. Just allow me go give him a dose of his own medicine. 
Do you know what it means for you to beat up your own father? Do you know what it is for my father to be beating my mother? Calm down. We all do not like what is happening, and he obviously cannot intimidate us like he used to. But that does not mean we should go ballistic on him. Why not? Because anything you do to him, he will do to mom. Your father slipped and fell. I've been calling you for days. You haven't picked up. I was busy. Okay. How are you? I'm good. So why haven't you checked up on me all this time? I'm still waiting for your apology. Apology for what? For what you said to me now. Come on. Babe, there's, there's no apology here, okay? Just come over to the house in a few days and I'll be back. We can talk. Michael, when you apologize, I can't think of coming to your place. But until then, take care. Hello? Gloria? Yeah. She's trying to force me to apologize to her. Because you don't know how to. Just like that. Hey, you need to stop comparing me to that. Besides, don't tell me that you've never wondered what happened to dad that turned him into this person that he has become. And you're scared that the same thing would happen to you? I guess, maybe. <sighs> Michael, what exactly is your problem with showing this girl the kind of love she deserves? She loves you. I know that. Then what is the problem? Why are you holding back? Yet you want her to hang around. It's kind of complicated. You see, this is the part of you that reminds me of that. Okay, you need to stop saying that. Why? Look around you. Look at what is happening. Is this what you want for your family? If you don't love this girl, you let her go. It's not like that. Then what is it? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. I, 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 I'm, I, I don't want to hurt my family like this. It wouldn't if you don't want it to. Stop acting like dad's spirit is going to fall upon you. It's not a family thing. Dad's brothers are amazing. And grandpa was the best before he died. Michael, you need to stop caging yourself. I would go check on Josh. Okay. Thank you. Dad, I need to talk to you. 
About what? About what happened earlier today. Your brother insulted your father. That is what happened. Well, there was reason for his action. As you make an excuse for such a behavior? I'm not making an excuse, but I understand it. Michael, you know what? I'm enjoying my evening program, and I want to enjoy it in peace. Why don't you ever let us come home to enjoy some time with you and mom? Aren't you home right now? Are you enjoying the fact that we're here? You have not answered my question. You have not answered my question either. Young man, you do not talk to me in that tone. I am your father. I don't know what we ever did to you or what our mother even did to you that you have been treating us this way but the things that you have been doing has been affecting everyone and not at all in a good way do I blame you I blame your mother she just ganged everybody up against me nonsense Believing that, finally, I thought this day would never come. She's been out into sun. 
with you. I was afraid. I wasn't ready for another baby. That 
was my worst pregnancy. I was in so much pain. Every week I bled. I thought that I would hate you when you eventually came. When you came out, I won't look at your face. I won't look at your eyes and I knew. I knew you had my heart. Um, hi. Um, please, I, I need you to be a doctor for me. I bought some things and I'll show you some other things online. Please, I'm begging you, you're the best person for this job. And this is the only way to get my mom out of my dad's abusive hands. Please do this for me, please. All right. Dr. Gloria, please meet my mother. Hello, Ma. You're welcome. Uh, she's our doctor. She treated Michael a few years ago. She's been with us since then. You're a very beautiful doctor, my dear. Thank you, Ma. Um, Ma, I need to check on how Mr. Josh is doing now. Okay. It's as if the liquid inside is not dropping. Uh, uh, mommy, it's dropping. It's just slow. 
Yes, it's dropping. It drops slowly. Yes, ma'am. Um, his full recovery will take some weeks, but he needs his loved ones close to him. I'll be here. Great. So I'll be coming to check up on him from time to time to know how he's doing. But in the meantime, I'll let Nadia and Michael know when she'll be left alone so that the quietness of the room can help his brain cells. Okay, doctor. We'll follow all your instructions. Alright, ma'am. Don't worry. He'll recover when I'm fast. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, I'll just send you. to be strong. Don't make us feel hopeless again. We're not hopeless. Josh should be okay. I'll go to the house to check on dad. I'll make soup and stew for him and then hand things over to the new housekeeper that we got. Eh? <laughs> Mommy, I'm working now. I can't abandon my job and go stay with dad. That's why we got a professional housekeeper. She would cook, clean and leave. Except you want to abandon Josh and go stay with him. No. I won't leave my son. But your dad is not used to that. Uh, mommy, he, he will get used to it. We all have to adjust. Josh is priority. He's priority. So, mommy, just settle in. I'm coming. You'll be fine. Bro, do you know how hard it was for me to hold back? And not Olga. Man, she was crying so much and telling me how much she loves me. <laughs> Nadia, you're supposed to be with mom. <laughs> Guy, this thing is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. uh, you're doing very well so far, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Uh -huh. So how did Gloria become the doctor? It was really impromptu. She came to mind and then, boom, oh, I called her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Anyways, I'm hungry and I'm really, really pressed. I'll get you food. Oh, okay. <sighs> Mom, what are you doing here? I, I came to to sleep here so that... Because I'm, I'm sure he'll need me Mommy, at night. Mommy, you don't have to. He lives here now. You'll see him see, in the morning. See, he's... he's his hand is shaking. Mommy, it, it, it's, it's, just, it's just reflex. Look, <laughs> Mommy, you can't... The doctor said that he needs quietness so that his brain can heal faster. I'll, I'll be quiet. No, 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 Mommy, you will not be quiet. You will be crying. I won't cry again. You, mommy, please, just yeah, mommy, go to go bed. We don't want you to... Look, we don't want to have two people to have to worry about. Oh, okay, let me just uh, stay for five minutes. No, 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 Mommy, please. You can check up on him later. Let's go. Okay, go please, we were just go. about to step out. It's we came to fine, check on okay? him. Yeah, wear your slippers. It's fine. Don't worry, okay, mommy. Baby. You can check in on him, okay? Okay, baby.
My soup. My soup. My soup is burnt. Your father doesn't like burnt soup. Now, your, father, your father doesn't like burnt soup. Mommy, you are in my girl's house. Which soup? You are here to take care of Josh. Joshua. Joshua. Joshua is alone in his room. Ah, mommy, the doctor said you should allow him to sleep. Why are you rest? Sleep. Ah, in Michael's house. I can't, can't leave him sleep. alone. Doctor is here. Good day, Ma. You're welcome. Um, I would like to be alone with my patient so I can check him extensively. Okay. Uh, Mommy, your food is ready. Come and eat at the dining. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sweetheart. So, I need your help, okay? okay? I need to be able to walk around, right, and eat. Okay, because laying down here and closing my eyes when I'm actually not sleeping is hard. Mm. Alright? Okay. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, please tell Nadia, okay? Okay. <laughs> 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 So you're the best. Yeah, I know. I'm finishing. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Yeah, and um, close the door. She needs to tell you something. It's locked. It's locked. Mm. Mm. I said she needs to tell you something. Okay, you know what? Let me go check on mom and be sure she's eating. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. What? Hmm? There's good news. <gasps> really? He's recovering very fast and we can remove the bandage from his head. God, it's wonderful. The good thing is that there was no bruise there. We just had to put the bandage so that he can calm his head down because of the concussion. Thank you, God. <laughs> so, Ma, I'll ask that he's encouraged to move around and not lay down on the bed too much. You know, he can also talk and eat. Oh, I'm here to help him. Should I go now? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, his full recovery will take about, let's say, 16 weeks, hopefully. I know it may sound too long, but... No, 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 that's not too long. Even if it's one year, I don't care. I'm here for him. It doesn't matter. Don't worry, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I need to rush back to work now. I mean, to my patients. Okay. 
Thank you so much, doctor. God will bless you. All right, ma'am. Let me just see the doctor off. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm here. Okay. So I don't need to. Go no, he's now. fine. It's fine. Okay. Hey. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Nadia, what's going on? Dad, I came to make soup and stew for you and officially introduce Miss Florence to you. She's a professional chef and a housekeeper. She'll be resuming here. And who told you that I need her? <laughs> huh? But except you want to join mom, go and stay with, with Josh where I can take care of you both. Otherwise, I think you need her. So tell me what you want so I know what I'm doing. Do whatever you want. I am not leaving my house. Your mother can go take care of Josh for all I care. <laughs> I'll show you to the kitchen. very weak. Yes, ma. That is why I want him to eat and walk around. He shouldn't lie on the bed for too long again. Okay. Yes, ma. Mr. Josh, um, I will need you to open your eyes gently. Please. <sighs> Please don't let Please don't let me. Yes, ma. Continue for me. Sorry. Uh. Joshua, I'm here. Please, man, let me finish with him. Okay. Okay, okay um, Mr. Josh, your mom will be here and she'll be spending some quality time with you. So I need you to look at my fingers to tell me how many you're seeing. So how many is this? Very good, very good. <laughs> so how many are these now? Three. Very good, very good. So, please, can you um, sit up? Just try. Try. So, 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 so. Sorry. So, Mr. George, can you can you turn your head this way? Slowly. Slowly, slowly. Hey. Slowly. <laughs> okay, look the other way. Look at Michael. You're fine. Sorry, sorry. Very good. So, Mr. Josh, I would like you to stand up and walk around so I can remove your hand and leg bandages too. Oh, Mr. Mark, can you get him some food? Oh, yes. I, I, I'll, I'll go and serve it now. I already made his favorite. Mm -hmm. Just talk to you. Yeah, I made your favorite. Just talk Anything you want, baby. I'm here for you. Thank you.
Sorry. Sorry. Well, I'm trying to eat something. Hmm? Take. Mr. Josh, please try and eat something. Josh eats, eh? My son is well. My son is eating. Oh, thank you. Okay, Lord. ma, I'll be on my way now. Thank you, doctor. All right, ma. Thank Can I see you off, please? No, don't worry, Mr. Michael. I'm good. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's finish this one. I put, I put turkey in the oven for you. Mm -hmm. And when you finish, that you got you like, I bought it for you. It's in the freezer. Hey, my baby. Florence. Florence. Sir. Come here immediately. What rubbish is this? Is this hot? Open it and see it now. Is that supposed to be an answer? Is this how my food is served? Hey, Mr. Anderson. Don't you ever shout at me again. I've said this before. I think I'm joking, right? I've told you to always correct me whenever I'm not getting it the way you want it. And I will adjust. Simple. How many times must I tell you my food must be hot and my food must be served correctly. I have told you. Shout at me one more time and watch me walk out of this house. Then you do the cleaning and cooking yourself since nothing satisfies you. Eh? And yes, my mom's presence has kind of helped me recover quickly. Okay? Yes, but you are still recovering. And I noticed that you resume work already. Please, no working late and no stressing. Hmm. I won't even allow it. Hmm. Very good. But it has to be monitored for the next few months. You know, people that pass through what he went through collapse when they are stressed. God forbid. I will not lose any of my children. I'm hmm. here. Amen. Amen. Mom, I have to go now. Okay, dear. Why not um, join us for lunch later? Uh, no, Ma. Maybe next time. Okay. Okay, okay dear. Bye-bye. All right, Doc. Bye. Ah. Oh. Doctor, you're here. Good morning, Mr. Michael. Uh, Michael is fine. We're friends. Of course. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to see you. I want to talk to you. Oh, I'm so busy right now. I'm leaving already. Oh, okay. It's, it's just that um, the the immune booster you gave me has finished. So oh. I would appreciate it if you can come with another pack when you're coming back. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll see what I can do about it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Let's yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, mama, mama, mama. <laughs> Amazing as usual. Mm -hmm. Nadia, mom, how is your father? He's okay. I'm the housekeeper. She's okay. She's doing her job well. And I asked dad if he would like to come. He said no. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your father will never come. And I can't leave yet, so... I told him to call you. <laughs> Perhaps he will. Mom? Mm -hmm. Why does daddy hate you? Hmm. Don't say that. The father doesn't hate me. Maybe dislikes you. And disrespects you. <laughs> Is that all you think about your father and I? Oh, come on, Mom. We're not kids anymore. Look, we will understand. Whatever the reason is, but you honestly don't expect us to believe there isn't an explanation for the way he's been treating you. I wasn't your father's first choice. What? He was deeply in love with another woman. She left him to be with a wealthy man. And that was when I met him. Fell in love with him. I could forgive anything he did. I followed him everywhere like a puppy. <laughs> Then his family suggested that we get married. I was so happy. But he wasn't. Not as happy as I was. A few years into our marriage, he reconnected with her. The other woman he was in love with? They started seeing each other again. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't listen. So I went to her, begged her to leave my husband for me. She stopped after she told him that I came to see her. And daddy didn't like it? No, he did not. A few months later, she died. Mom, are you for real? Since then, he has sought to punish me. For him, I... I ruined the opportunity he had to be with the woman he loved. I've done everything to please him since then. To no avail. But mom, why would you go ahead and marry a man you knew clearly did not love you? It wasn't really like that. He asked me to marry him. There was a time I thought he had fallen in love with me. I later realized this because the woman he loved had left him. Do you regret marrying him? I had always dreamt of having a husband who loved me. I never got that from your father. One day he told me that he regretted meeting me. He regretted the day he asked me to marry him. He regretted giving in to his family's pressure to marry me. 
So I guess that's why he hates us. I suppose he had hoped to have children with the woman he loved, but not me. Sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm fine. Besides, I'm happy. I'm happy now. <laughs> I have beautiful grown-up children. Just three of you. Please don't, don't ever be with someone you do not love, who does not love you. True love conquers all, and your life will be beautified by it. <clears throat> Mom, would you go back to Dad soon? Uh, yeah. He seems to be well taken care of, and you check on him regularly. Besides, I need to be here for Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I need you here, Mom. I know. <sighs> I never thought I could laugh so much again, feel safe, sleep as soundly as I've been sleeping since I came here. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like the first night you were jumping up looking for your body. <laughs> 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 I am trying to explain things to you. I don't want long stories. When are you coming back here? What am I coming back to do? What sort of nonsense question is that? Are you not done nursing Josh yet? Josh, your son that you could not even come and see. I know that you would have preferred you had children with Angela, not me. Never you ever mention that name again. But come on, Donald. Your son almost died. Well, Donald, I cannot remember experiencing the kind of peace and joy that I have experienced here with these children. Despite how you treated them, Nadia has been so concerned about you. The boys are the ones paying the housekeeper. You need to start to be the father they have always wanted. I am asking you a question. And you're giving me a lecture. When are you coming back here? I want this woman out of this house. Well, you will endure her for the next few months. And if I return and you treat me the way you used to, I will leave and never come back. My children can take care of me now. Goodbye for now. did this. We did it, bro. <laughs> we actually did it. Wow, I'm sorry. You know, we just need to find a way to make her stay here more permanent now. I mean, she can always go visit dad every couple of months and come back here. And perfect. And all we need to do is wait for Nadia to come so we can discuss a plan, right? Yeah. <sighs> man, she's been wasting her life with that man. I'm telling you. I'm so oh, happy. I did this. What? what? I just overheard mom talking to dad. This is the first time she's acknowledging that dad does not treat her right. So she told him she'll be here for a few months and if she goes back, he treats her wrongly, she would leave and never go back. Then she hung up. On him? Yes! Wow, she, she never does that. No, she did it. Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> That's her letting him know he can never intimidate her again. Why? 
it. Yeah. Well, look, bro, we have to make this permanent now, right? Well, it's easy. She's here now. She would only go visit that once in a while. I was just yeah. saying that to him. <laughs> oh my goodness, we did it! Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! Oh, oh my goodness! goodness. Hey. Dude! What's that? Um, I think that's mine. I'll get it. Okay. okay. Alright, alright. We did it! You got it! us to get back together. Why? I finally figured it out. I finally figured out what my problem has been. Care to share? I've been scared. Yes, I have been afraid that our relationship was going to turn out like what my parents have. And I don't want that, but somehow, inside of me, I've still been, you know, like, scared that even if that's not what I want, I would still end up in that place. So what changed now? My father created the toxic environment we grew up in because he never loved my mother and he never gave himself a chance to. If he had, he would have realized that my mother was the sweetest, most loyal person ever. If he had given himself a chance, he would have fallen in love with her. I love the person that I want and I want to have the opportunity to say it to her every single day. What if I'm not seeing someone else, Michael? You just halted what we had for weeks. Do you even realize that if it's not because of your sister who asked me to help with keeping your mother here, I won't even be coming here at all. I'm sorry. I truly am. I just needed to figure it out for myself. It was eating me up. And the fact that you sacrificed so much to help us with our mother is part of the many reasons that I know I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've done for us in the past weeks. But I don't want you with me if you don't love me, Gloria.
want to be sure of something here. get it. no justification for my actions and behavior. 
despite my tantrums, my anger, you still loved me wholeheartedly. I apologize for those nights that, those nights that you cried and I never, and I, I never comforted you. I apologize for the verbal, psychological and physical abuse I meted out on you and my children. A wise man once told me that people come into our lives for a reason, a season or a lifetime. I came to the realization that you, Rosalind, Michael, Josh and Nadia, you're my lifetime. I thank God. I, I, I just thank God for the gift of a loving family like you. And I am very contented with that. say to err is human to forgive is divine I just want to say that I want a second chance a second chance to be a good husband that you truly deserve and a father my children never had even if you don't give me a second chance I I I truly don't deserve it I don't I want you all to know that. I want you all to know that I am, I am truly sorry for all the pain and hurt I caused you all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Michael, Lydia. I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. She's been 